Okay, so I'm gonna start this video with first saying that I am a complete moron and I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed. So, and I'm gonna explain that in just one sec. So what started this video was that my cheap Chinese water cooling kit that I bought from eBay, it started overheating on me. Yeah, the temperature started getting a little hot and it was like 40 degrees in my garage and I started hitting 70, started hitting 80 and I didn't think that was pretty efficient or as good as it could be. And I wasn't too happy with that. You know, I checked the thermal paste, the thermal paste was fine, and I, I checked the loop, and everything was fine. So, this is actually the second recording of this vi video. I'm just gonna be transparent of it. And when I started doing it, I brought this out. Oop. I brought this out so I could kind of demonstrate, you know, and show that this thing had some gouges and scratches with it. And I didn't even realize it. If you look at this, this looks perfectly, you know, normal, fine. I mean, it has like the gouges I was talking about and that was a concern. So I was like, okay. And as I started messing with it in the previous recording, I looked and look what I found. Yep, I'm retarded. I am retarded, that's right. There is a sticker or a protective cover on top of my cheap eBay Chinese water loot, uh, cooling kit. And I didn't know, I honestly didn't know. I didn't see it and I totally missed it. So this is why my uh, cheap eBay Chinese water cooling kit was overheating and it was overheating pretty good. And that's why. Got to remove the plastic sleeve. Good job, good job DLM Tech Garage. Yep, so that was retarded, I'm an idiot. So moving on to this video, I'm still gonna continue with this video and I might mess with the Chinese water cooling loop. I've already drained it and getting ready to pack it up and put it away. But now that I figured that out, I'm definitely curious to see what the temperatures are and the performance gains and whatever. So um, we're going to be doing an update video on the cheap Chinese water cooling kit. And we'll talk more about that. So going back into this video, I needed a, um, I needed a CPU cooler. The stock Intel one that I had over here that I was um, using uh, the bearing is a little rough for wear on it. it, makes it a little noise, it's got a little scratch sound in it. And yeah, my temperatures were kind of sitting 65, 66 when I was running Aida 64, which is not terrible. I mean, considering it's a little cold in the garage, real world scenario, it'll probably sit in the 70, 80s on full load, so. But I want something a little better. So I found this on Amazon for $13. Thermal Take Gravity I2. Gravity works. So the Thermal Take Gravity I2, this is for the Intel setup. This is your mounting bracket. And it's the fan, all aluminum. Comes pre-applied thermal paste. If I can get it in there, there we go. Pre-applied thermal paste, so that kind of helps save the budget if you don't have thermal paste. Um, has three pin instead of the PWM, which is fine, it's not the end of the world. This is not too loud, and we'll talk about that in one second. But, you know, for the budget, it's not too bad. A lot of times when I work on these Dell computers, the biggest issue I run into is that these fans are just worn out just for being in the office, covered in dust. I mean, I usually take it off, a little WD-40, blow this crap out of here. Works fine. But not all the time can you bring it back to life, and not all the time are they going to work. So we got this, and I wanted to give this a shot and see how this works. So I'm back at my test bench over here, and we're going to move back over here. Got it installed. And overall, for the most part, it's pretty quiet. Even though it's only running at the constant uh, RPM that it's assigned to, it's running fine and it's running quiet. Doesn't look too bad. And we're running IE64 right now. So let's set this back up over here. And running IE64, there we go. All right. I don't know if it comes in the camera, it should. But my highest temperature is 56 degrees Celsius. And I've been running this test for about uh, 26 minutes, almost a half hour. And it's been running 56 degrees Celsius. The fan is running at the max RPM that it's set to, and it works fine. So now, if the noise is a factor, which this is not noisy at all, you can get one of those, um, those power things that they sell. I forget what they're called. Noctua sells them, about $10. You get three of them, and you can lower the voltage through the little connector. It runs a lot better. Well, it doesn't run better. It just runs quieter. So overall, 56 degrees. My thoughts on this, uh, for $13, I think this will work great for those uh, Dell builds when I have to swap out those fans. It's gonna work good for my test bench. Like I said, I'm running an i3-6100. I'm not running anything insane. So overall, good budget, good bang for the buck. Pretty easy to install. Mount goes right in, screws right in, pre-applied thermal paste, 
and you're good to go. So for anybody looking for a budget-friendly CPU cooler, I do recommend this We're running like 56 degrees. Uh, when I booted up on idle, like I said, I think it's like 40 degrees in my garage right now. On idle, I was sitting at 22 degrees, 22 degrees idle. And we're running this test for 30, uh, for 30 minutes, almost 30 minutes, and we're at 56 degrees idle. So um, good fan, good bang for the buck, good piece of aluminum. So comment down below, let me know what you think, besides the fact that I'm a complete moron for totally missing that. But like I said, we're gonna do a follow-up video on this uh, eBay water cooling kit so I could get better temperatures. I thought the temperatures were good, but they skyrocketed all of a sudden, and now I see why. Good thing it wasn't a hot day in this garage, or I would have melted this right onto that CPU um, core die. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching, and if you still continue to watch after realizing how retarded I am, I greatly appreciate it. Comment down below, and we'll see what I come up with next.